Well, I just watched a video of my middle skin studio about the advertisement in the Canadian newspaper in a um, ad complaining about that parents can't remove their students from you know education that's supposed to help them understand that there are other people and even themselves that they themselves might be slightly different and Canada doesn't allow parents to be pulled out pull their kids out and they shouldn't these whole things is to teach and have kids understand that there are other people in the world and it's not just LBGT and whatnot it's also teaching them that blacks there's people blacks there's people of different religions and cultures you know, that we should be respectful to some extent of other people you know that we shouldn't treat someone different because they're Muslim or they're black or they're Jew or whatnot and they want to take them out of these things because they find it offensive that they're being told that being gay is normal or transgender is normal now, the whole point of these things is to teach respect for other people. You don't have to agree with them, but you should fucking treat them with respect. And these parents are particularly the kind of people that these things are targeted for, to teach them to be respectful of other people's beliefs, rights. You want to respect your rights, but you want to remove any semblance of being respectful to other people. You know, how many of these people want us to respect their beliefs to be bigoted and hateful, but then get pissed off when they're asked to be respectful of other people. You know, as a Canadian, this pisses me off a lot. Because I believe wholeheartedly in respecting people and being willing to accept other people for who they are and not hate them. And this is what this whole campaign seems to be. To demonize people that they decide aren't normal or aren't right, they go against them. This goes back to that whole thing, you know, is it okay to be intolerant against intolerance? You know, we kind of, you know, these guys are being intolerant of other people, but yet want us to be tolerant of their beliefs, their right to remove the kids from these classes. And how many of these kids could be gay, transgender, whatever, yet they're being forced to not accept that possibility. They're being forced into the closet, which does massive harm. Now, this is particularly the kind of thing, you know, why is so many gay people and then transgender one not suicide? Because of stuff like this, you're not given the ability to be who they are. You know, if you're, if you're worried about your kid becoming gay from these classes, guess the fuck what? He already was gay. All he's doing is hiding it because you're forcing him to hide it. You're destroying his life, his heart, who he is by trying to force him back into the closet. That's all these pro things are. It's about keeping kids from being who they are. You know, all it is is that you don't want to accept that your kid could be gay or that someone else's kid could be gay. And you don't want it to be locked up and hidden from your precious kid's eyes. And what if your kid is? You've destroyed his life because of your own hatred, bigotedness. You do not, I'm a very strong advocate of that parents don't have complete rights over kids. You know, yes, I get that there are some things they have rights for, but at the same time, the kid has to have his own rights. There has to be protecting the kids from their parents. You know, your parents do not have the right to do harm to their kids. Sorry, this is just one of these things that kind of annoys me, especially as a Canadian. I expect this from Ca United States with all the bigotry here, but, you know, bigotry there. Canada was one of the first countries to legalize gay marriage. And now these people want to bring us back to the Dark Ages, where we didn't allow these kind of things. There's no problems in the United States without bringing in this kind of bigotry here even more. This is a place about where people are free to be who they are, as long as it doesn't hurt others. You have a right to be who you are. You have a right to have issues with other people. But you don't have a right to try to try to remove any chance 
to be teaching people about respect and whatnot. These kind of things just really fucking annoy me. You know, I hate to, to coin their kind of a phrase, but think of the children. Think of the children who are gay, transgender, and what they go through because of your bigotry that you want to prevent people from being from realizing that they're just human fucking beings. You don't have any care for children. You just have care for your own fucking beliefs and your own bigotry. You don't care about your child. You don't care about anyone else's child. You know, Jesus Christ. And you know, I don't know, I'm just ranting and rambling here, but these kind of things really make me sick and made me sick for years. Um, this was originally brought, apparently, to the attention by... Um, Bob Chaos 23 I'm going to see about linking this to him as a reply. Check his video and the other videos, see if he's worth subscribing for yourself. I'm going to see about ending this as a reply. If not, I'll, we'll put a link to his video below. Let me know what you think. If you agree or disagree. I know Canadian, I mean, I know Americans are probably going to have a different opinion because you guys have a bigger belief in free speech and stuff, but here's can Canadians. No, we pride ourselves in being inclusive and respectful in the ability to teach respect and whatnot. So let me know what you think, if you agree or if you disagree. And if you're Canadian and disagree, let me know why you disagree.